How's everyone doing? Zero here, and here I am with a Roy analysis. Now, Roy has been out for like a day, pretty much, and but there's a lot of things I've been testing around with Roy, been talking to a lot of different top players uh, for some ideas about Roy, and I think I figured out a lot of cool things about Roy that I would love to share with you guys. Obviously, there's a lot more to discover with the character, and I think he has the potential to be a solid top tier character. He has the strength the speed the combos the setups and the armor and invincibility to be a top tier character pick and i'm definitely looking to actually add him to my tournament repertory so i mean i am i am definitely into the hype of for this man roy's or boy but um so yeah anyway so let's talk about some of the things that i personally like about roy keep in mind i'm not going to do like a move my move analysis but i just want to talk about some of the things that i've been really using with roy because, you know, I don't have the knowledge to explain every single move to a really good uh, conclusion. Because, you know, we don't we don't really know everything. But, anyway, so, some of the things that I've been enjoying with Roy is, first off, is Neutraler. His Neutraler cancels out in there, or out of cancels. So, you can use Neutraler to approach. You can also use it to retreat, to land. Uh, you can also use it from the ledge. You can, like, let go the ledge. You can also use it like this. You can also use it... Uh, has a combo starter. Uh, Neutraler actually is a great combo tool and it really works out from 4th throw. For example, you can do things like 4th throw. Um, depending on the character, some characters are better at it, some characters are worse. But depending on the way you can do... Some characters you get chained into it. It doesn't appear to be a combo because it's a wrong percent. But I've definitely been chaining a lot of players into neutral and Neutralers. And you can finish off the job with a forder things like that so but yeah the bread and bother is that you want to do fourth throw into nair i will say around 30 percent something around that let me check maybe 40 percent for diddy you can also do run inside b which is a pretty good option too now for the side B combination, the one I found to be the most consistent and also to have a good amount of kill power is you pr so you, you do side B twice, then you go into the upwards combination, and then to, for the finish you go into the fourth one. So it's like it's like side side up side. Looks like this. It's really good. It does a good amount of damage, and you can also go fast with it and. I will still finish it. That's pretty good. Another thing I like to do is using his down tilt to set up tech chases. For example, you can down tilt. You run up at someone. Then you read their get up and then you force smash. I also like his jab to cancel up uh, people's moves. So let's say they run at me. I will either throw a four tilt or a jab. I will throw a four tilt if I'm more confident that they're going for that option. But I don't want to do like a pivot force smash. Which is the hard read option. But you can also go for a jab. Because you can do jab into grab or dash grab. Also, out of his down throw, options I like out of his down throw. At zero, one thing I really like doing is down throw into jab four tilt. It's not necessarily a true combo, but it really catches people off guard who don't spam air dodge out of it. You have to pretty much mash the A button to get it to work. Also, you can do down throw into up tilt, but the thing is that at 0%, it doesn't really work out because people can just hit you out of it. So you want to do it like a 10% or something like that. Like that. And then you can cover their landing and go for something else. What, after that, I will recommend going for down throw up air. So you can set up juggles and other type of different things. You can also do down throw into nair, which is really good. One of my favorites too. If you do it correctly, you can change them together. And you can also use your backer to finish it off. Now, one thing that's super interesting about Roy is the fact that his up B has super armor. So, for example, at the startup. So, let's say someone, um, you know, is trying to punish you because you threw out a move at the wrong time or something like that. Or, it, for example, they're getting up from, from the ledge or anything like that that you're expecting them to throw a move at you. You can just up B through it because, you know, the armor at the beginning will just protect you. And then you will hit them anyway. Also, your up B is an amazing up B option out of shield. If people try to punish your your blocking habits or they try to roll around you or they try to get above you, 
instantly up Yellow Shield. You can do it both ways. And if you catch him from the beginning, it's a very good kill option. Almost killing Diddy Kong. You can also jump up in the air and do it. It's a really good option. You can also catch people off guard with it, off the stage. It's very, it's a very flexible option, which I really enjoy. You can also use the first set of neutral air to come when to down throw. You can also mix up uh, first head on neutral during the combos to set up even more follow-ups. For example, you can do, for example, you can do down throw into nair, into first head of nair, down throw. You know, you can do, you you can mix it up. You can do different ideas. Not all of it is true combo, but he has the setups and the uh, the flexibility to to put the opponent in a bad spot. Also, one thing I really like is the fact that. Your neutral B has almost no cooldown. I would not say it has zero lag, but the amount of lag it has, it's like, it's definitely less than two frames, or it's it can be also nothing. Because, for example, I can jump off the stage, charge my neutral B really low, and then immediately recover because it has no cooldown. You can also throw the move around, and if people dodge it, or manage to uh, dodge it, or anyway, or for example, let's say they dodge it, and then they go back to you to punish you. You can just simply throw it. And then you mash up B. And you will much most likely cover them. I like using this on the ledge. And it's because of two options, two reasons. Um, you throw it. Let's say they get around it. And then you simply mash up B. Or you mash four till or jab or force smash even. You can do things like. Let's say for example he rolls behind me. And then I can just force smash the other way immediately. You can also jump off the stage with it. Very reliably. You can also use it off the stage as many times as you want. I almost made it back by, you know, using three neutral beasts off the stage. No. So that's a very good option I enjoy doing. Also, his up smash has... I'm not sure if he has invincibility. I think it has invincibility rather than armor. But your up smash is really good to cover people from landing you can also do it when people are directly coming above you so you let's say you're doing you know some up tail up tail or upper juggles and then they're coming from above you with an attack so then you throw up the up smash and then you finish them up with that up smash not only kills really early but it also you know has invincibility it has a pretty big hitbox it's really easy to connect the head it's not complicated so that's very useful now when it comes down to Roy killing. Roy doesn't really have that many issues killing. You can kill with, f if you kill with a, you know, if you get your four till on the right spacing up close, you can kill with that option. Four smash kills people like at 80. Your B barely charged can kill people really early, like that. That was like not even charged that much, but you can still get it. It's, I mean, Roy is Roy has a lot of options, and I'm just getting you know the hang of it. But this is what I know. Uh, so far, hopefully you guys learn a thing or two about it. Uh, also, I've been looking up that people that do down till after down throw, you do things like... You have to be pretty quick, though. All right, some ideas, some ideas. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the analysis. And if you guys have any questions or anything, please let me know in the comments below. And if you find any type of Roy knowledge, just let me know. Oh, I forgot. This is one amazing thing I forgot. All right, last thing, last thing. <laughs> All right, so your Forte has a very good ASA frames, which means interruptible as soon as possible, right? Now, I know that sounds really weird, but it means that you can interrupt the animation at the end much sooner than you think. It's kind of like a cancel, but not really. It's 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 weird to explain, but it makes sense when seen. So you see how Roy's Forte lags when I land with it? You know, it's Roy's Forte is very strong. It can finish off combos from, from uh, neutral air. But you can also use it to approach. What you need to do is that you jump and you forward it as soon as possible. And then you can just mash anything else after. Pretty much. Because you're 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 not actually committed to land. So you can actually do things like this. You can jump forward. Air. You know, you have options and you know Marth doesn't have this, his forward actually lacks. So yeah, it's very interesting. And his back here is a very good kill option. Not to mention his spike is very powerful if you do get it right. So that's also another good option you can use. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.